Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. I wanted to thank everyone for your patience on these videos while I was out on a vacation. Did just a recent trip to Las Vegas this past week. Had a great time. Check out my Facebook page if you haven't had a chance. Uh, you'll see some of the pictures that I've posted there as well from my trip. So let's get back to it. Let's talk about another entry here based on one of your current, your newer suggestions. This one following the theme yet again of another long lost dinosaur very popular amongst my videos it seems with you fans with the with the dinosaur so I thought I would definitely treat everyone here with another entry and in this case it has to do with a dinosaur that could be or at least a cryptid that could be a long lost cousin of in this case the stegosaurus one of the most popular dinosaurs yet so let's go ahead let's talk about all the information associated with this it's a cryptid known as the Mohuru which you're looking at a picture of here so what was or what is the Mohuru well it is a cryptid that is apparently found within the jungles of Kenya if you go there and no specific area apparently just go to Kenya find any type of jungle type area if you do so there's a good chance fingers crossed you know all the luck in the world that you'll come across this thing here let's talk about its physical description you can see why instantly people say it's a long-lost cousin of a stegosaurus because it definitely looks like one it has that thick lumbering look to it just like a stegosaurus would and the way it's been described is it's something that is huge has heavy armors almost on the top uh, instantly reminded me of those beloved dorsal spikes of Godzilla and it has some thick bony plates on its back I mean I'm oh, sorry uh, towards its other parts of his body and then a very very large club like tail very reminiscent not in this case of a stegosaurus but more along the lines of an ankylosaurus so it could use this maybe as a defensive weapon or in some cases as an offensive weapon as well but yes based on some preliminary reports at least its size it's more along the lines of the size of a car not necessarily let's say as big as a stegosaurus because you and I have seen uh, anything involving like the uh, Jurassic Park movie and those descriptions there hopefully they're accurate but you can see that the stegosaurus were much much larger in this case maybe evolution toned things down a little bit it made this muhuru become smaller in order to successfully adapt to its environment and if it did so then big kudos to it because it has then survived something along the lines of over 150 million years as opposed to all the other dinosaurs that eventually of course died out so it goes to show that in some pockets of this world just like in my past videos involving other dinosaurs that are still around those that are successful in adapting to their environments are the ones that truly do last the first known encounter with this muhuru seems to be from a missionary a guy by the name of Cal Bombay and then his wife they saw this creature somewhere there in 1963 and um, it made seems like the way it was described they were coming across their car uh, driving down the road and when they did so that's when they saw this thing here so it's pretty hard to let's say misinterpret this for something else not really in long lines of cryptids when people see them from afar or even some places close by you can always kind of think oh okay it could have been this maybe the mirage kind of tweaked things a little bit or maybe people you know it was nighttime they the people couldn't really see that well and so they misinterpreted XYZ real life animal for this but no in this case it's kind of hard to find something now in real life that would be misinterpreted for the Muhuru. So the fact that these people here, this Kalma and his wife, were able to see this creature and then provide accurate descriptions of it, it's kind of hard to disprove it otherwise. You just have to pretty much go by their word by that point. But as far as that, it hasn't had any other types of encounters. No other recent ones that I have been able to find. Nothing else that showcases from other people there in Kenya. Maybe it's a creature that was just accidentally at the wrong place at the wrong time. And when that happened, they made its presence known. Otherwise, it would just live throughout the uh, uninhabited portions of Kenya. Those large, large jungles there. And then have nobody come across it. Maybe it's in its entire lifetime 
times. So there was one other thing um, in terms of there was a book, something from Aurora McCall called The Living Dinosaur. And it very similarly comes across, I think I did this video a couple of, a little while back, the Nguma Munene, if I'm not mistaken, how that one could be misinterpreted as, uh, like in this case, two cryptids, one the, you know people think is the other so if you haven't had a chance um, 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 I'll see if I can include the link below for it but you'll be able to find like why people are thinking that the two are one another or vice versa so that's the only other closest thing that it could be interpreted for not necessarily in this case like a like another cryptid I'm sorry another animal but in this case another cryptid outright but that's pretty much it that's all the information associated with this Muhuru a mysterious cryptid creature that came and went. People saw it back then in 1963 and that's been about it. It hasn't had any other type of encounter afterward. It'll be interesting to see though um, with, with, with I guess you know technology being a lot different now than it was back in 1963 if anybody would be able to come up with something. Something that showcases like in this case something of, of photographic proof you know, always hear about people taking all those vacations out there um, especially from the western uh, world going over there taking long excursions and now with people having phones everything that they could just zoom in from very far away it'd be interesting to see if, if if they ever come across something like this now they'll have photographic proof so that could break the dam open when it comes to showcasing proof that yes there truly is a long lost dinosaur still in the fields of Kenya in this case the Mahuru so all right everybody thanks again as always take care